Friends, I got another new old stock case knife in today, and we are going to unwrap this thing and check it out. This one's from 2007, and uh, believe it or not, I've already offered it up to another channel as a possible trade. And if you stick around, you'll see why I did that. And also, later in this video, I'm going to compare it to some of my other knives that you might not have seen yet in my case collection. So stick around. A lot of cool stuff in this video, and this should be a pretty cool knife. So like I said, this one is supposed to be from 2007. It's in the green box, WR Case and Sons. All right, looks in pretty good shape. And it's item number 08628, and it is a tiny muskrat. And this one is in the Bengal Stripe, and it was born on 04-25 of 07. Pretty cool. Looks in pretty cool shape. So let's go ahead and check it out. But first, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it to any of your friends who might like similar knife content. It really helps us out. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get back to this 2007 Tiny Muskrat, and uh, let's get it out of the box here and see what it's all about. All right, still wrapped in the tissue, and it looks like we got the original paperwork that came with the knife here. Let's see what we got. So this here is a warranty and survey, and the famous case trademark, customer awareness statement, and on the back here, we have the um, just a bit more information about the knife, knife care, the limited lifetime warranty, and a little survey to fill out there and send in. So let's go ahead and fold this back up, get it back in that box so we don't lose it. We might trade this one off. All right, let's get it unwrapped. Now the tissue paper. And we want to save this tissue paper as well. Get that back in the box. And let's t take a look at this knife and get all up close and personal with it. There we go. Alright. Here's the knife. That is the Bengal Tiger Striped Muskrat. Huh? Wow. Check it out. That is a small knife though. That is for sure. And it's got those Bengal tiger stripes, and they're pretty cool. You can actually feel the texture on them. So this knife, as a muskrat, should have two of the same style blade. Let's see if it does. And yes, it does. Two of the same modified clip point style blades that make the muskrat a muskrat. And this baby comes in at two and seven eighth inches closed with blades measuring in at an inch and seven eighths each so it is a small knife a tiny muskrat is what it is all right and this also is a serpentine style knife as you can see it's hard to see let me see if i can get focused here all right so it's got a little bit of an s shape to that knife see it there and uh, what that does is it puts one blade, if you look at that, if you look at the back of the spine of the knife and where the tip of the blade is, it puts it in a, this one's in a little bit higher position than the other blade. Let me show you. Let's get that other one open. All right, look at the spine of the knife and look at the placement of the tip and see how much lower that knife is. That's what that slight S shape of the handle does. It puts that blade a little bit further down. If you're working on something like on the table, that gives it easier access to it. And if you are want to stab or clean, this is the blade you'd use for that. There's your Tang Stamp Case XX with the one mark in there. That beautiful clip point with the Skinner tip. And that nail nick right there where I like it, making it look kind of like a bird of prey or maybe a, a raptor or something. I don't know. Pretty cool. All right, here's the other blade. Now, 
I've offered this up to Baxter Blades if he wants to trade it because he's got a, uh, I guess he's into cats and stuff like that, tigers, and I think this would fit his channel nicely. Let's check out the uh, Blade Center, and that one's in there nice. That one's a little off to the side. Let's see what's going on here. Not sure if they're rubbing. Let's take a look. Yep. Got one little line right there where that'll polish out nicely. And we can tweak that so they don't rub. And I think I've already got it okay. It's a small knife. We'll have to keep an eye on that, though. I don't know, Baxter. What do you think? You want to trade? You got something you want to trade me that knife for? Let me know. So here I've laid out my small knife collection. I got them all lined up here and I want to show them off to you if you don't mind. But first here is that large muskrat again and here is this small muskrat and as you can see the size difference between the two right there. A tiny muskrat can sit in there like a baby in the womb. Huh? Pretty cool. I think so. Let me know Baxter. I think this would fit your channel if your tiger stripes and all. All right, time to get into my little tiny collection here. And the first knife up is my tiny trapper in the rattlesnake jigged bone. Check that out. And it is much smaller than that tiny muskrat. So that rattlesnake is the smallest knife in my collection. Next up is the small stockman. This is the lizard skin from Shepherd Hills. And it's about the same size. It's three blades versus two, but it's about the same size as that tiny muskrat. So if you want to know how big it is, here is another small stockman. This is in the harvest orange. That makes a nice pairing with that knife, don't it? You can see the thickness is about the same, so overall they're very close in size, other than one's three blade, one's two. Here is the small Congress, red jig, red peach seed jig bone, small Congress. It's a two-bladed knife, like the muskrat, but it's got different style blades. And it's a little bit longer. Check it out. Okay. Comparable though. If you got a small Congress, you see how big that knife is. Here's the peanut. This is the first small knife I got. I couldn't believe I bought this knife when I bought it. Now I got a whole collection of small knives, huh? But that peanut's bigger than that tiny muskrat. It's got two blades, but they're both on one end. Next up, I really like this knife. This knife really surprised me. You know, I said that before. This is the Pocket Hunter. And I never thought it would be this small. I thought it was a bigger knife, being a Hunter model. But uh, it's a pretty small knife. And it's got your, your two nice shaped blades. And as you can see, how small it is. I mean, it's thicker in the handle, deeper in the handle. The blades are a little bit deeper, but it's uh, it's in the same category as the uh, tiny muskrat, small swell center jack. Now this one here, because of those deep jig bones, is a lot wider. Look at that. That is a wide knife for its size. Only got two blades, right? Not much longer than that tiny muskrat, but man, it's like twice as wide because of those big old thick bones. But you know what? That's why I like it. I like it like that. Okay. But that's the small swell center jack next to the tiny muskrat. So you can see the size difference there. Alrighty. Okay. Got two more knives. Let's see what we got here. Now this, this is just the case pen knife. This one's in carbon steel and it's a two bladed knife and I really like this one. I carry this one a lot actually. But once again that tiny muskrat will fit right in there. Okay so it is bigger if you know or have a case pen you'll see how small that tiny muskrat is. 
And then once again, here we are back to the regular muskrat. Right? Ready to give birth to the tiny muskrat right there. So, let me know, Baxter. Are you interested in this knife? If not, I'll put it in my collection, no problem. But I would like to offer it to you because it matches your channel better. Alright, so I'm going to go back to unboxing my new old stock knives. But I also have an old, old stock knife. And this one, I can't wait to make this video. This is my next video. Stay tuned for this. This is going to be so cool, everybody. Don't miss that video. That is going to be one of my coolest videos of the year. All right, there's the tiny muskrat. Is it going in my collection or is it going over to Baxter Blades? Baxter, let me know. Put it in the comments. Do you want it? Tell me what you'll trade for it. All right. Other than that, everybody stay safe. Be good.